All right, so then once you're done sanding, you wanna brush off your piece. I'm doing it outside because I'm actually gonna do a little spray painting, but you could do it inside. You can even wipe it down with a wet rag if you want, if you don't wanna get dust everywhere. So once it's wiped down, it should be ready for primer. And normally I like to brush prime and I will do that in a minute. But what I'm actually gonna do first is I'm gonna use a little bit of gold spray paint on some of the areas that stick out, like this uh, floral pattern and this flower right here piece of trim and some of the edges because I've done really well with some distressed pieces that had a little gold showing through it's just I don't know why but people have really liked that look so I'll show you what I mean here I'm just gonna shake it up and I'm only gonna spray these areas that are sticking out like I think this corner and some of these edges when I, what happens, we're going to prime over it, we're going to paint over it, and then when we sand it, some of this gold's going to show through and kind of make it look like it was old, you know, and it's been painted over over the years. So I'm going to make sure and get, like, these details really good, and then the trim, and just some of the areas where I feel like I'll be sanding later and letting it show through. So once this is dry, I'll take it inside and I'll show you how to prime it. All right, so as you can see, I went ahead and I spray painted a bunch of gold everywhere and I went ahead and hit all of the surfaces, all of the edges where I think I'll sand and it'll show through. Um, you don't have to do that. I'm just gonna do that to experiment with it. But now it's time to move on to primer. So I'm just using some plain old white primer. Um, this happens to be the like stain blocking stuff, but it's just because I had it left over from working on the house. Um, usually I just use cheap white primer, it doesn't really matter. And I'm also using a really cheap brush. That's actually one of the really cool things about doing this type of patina distressed paint job is you want it to be sloppy, so you don't want to use a good brush. I mean, you could use a good brush, but a cheap brush just doesn't ever look very good. You paint it, it gets kind of sloppy, and it actually works to your advantage for something like this. So this is really easy. Um, you just want to uh, slop the paint on there. So make sure it covers it really good, and you get it in all the little corners, and then just let it dry. That's it. The beauty of this type of paint job is that it's really easy. You can't screw it up. So I'll go ahead, I'll cover this thing, and then once it's dry, I'll show you how I do the paint. All right, so I let the primer dry, and it took about an hour, and it's good enough now we can start applying paint on top. But I just wanted to show it to you up close so you can get an idea of how crappy it actually looks. I put it on, I mean, I did a really bad job priming this. But I did that on purpose. And that's to give it a lot of texture and uh, make it uh, look really cool when we start sanding and distressing it later. When we, you know, we, we're going to top it with paint and then all the highs and lows of the primer are going to show through when we start sanding it up. It's going to, you know, give it a really cool, distinct look. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop the camera up on a tripod and I'll show you how I paint it. And then we'll get distressing after that. All right, so for the paint, um, I don't know if it's showing through real good, but it's a really light blue, almost sea foam color I'm using. And uh, I've always done really well with the stress pieces when they're blue, I don't know why. So um, I'm actually painting this one so that I can resell it, I'm not keeping it. Otherwise, I would probably try a different color, but these blue seems to uh, do really well when I resell. And then I'm also using the same junky brush I used when I did the primer. So basically, you just apply it just like you did the primer, and it's okay to go ahead and put it on sloppy. The only difference is that I like to completely cover the entire thing. So kind of like uh, I got some thin spots right here, and like right around here. And you just want to make sure that the whole thing is totally covered with your paint. And I'm using some acrylic, uh, you know, just like paint you use to paint a wall in a house or whatever, just your standard. And I think this is, this is a semi-gloss, uh, but it doesn't matter. I would not use, uh, really glossy like oil-based stuff I would I would stick to your acrylics and uh, they, they tend to sand off real easy and distress really well but just apply it just do a you know a half decent paint job but I would still not make this look perfect either I'd leave some paint drops and uh, really bad brush strokes but just make sure that it's totally covered so cover the entire thing and uh, once I get this covered I'll show you how to distress it. <laughs> 